we know who my brother is. It's cutthroat committee. It's you can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't be wholesome, but you cutthroat. I'm just being real. <laughs> so we, you know, we know what he's done, but I also feel like he's also done great things mm. that you know all the time they capitalize, try to capitalize off the negative thug. You know what I'm saying? Lifestyle, and I feel like a lot of time with black people, if it's on the opposite dark side, people like to capitalize off that. But what about the good sides? You know what I'm saying? What about the things that people did, like Kitty Black, her house burned down and he let her live with him till she got a new house. And all the time she talk about that because she was like, I didn't have nowhere to go. I didn't know where I was gonna go. I had my child, I didn't know what to do. And he was like, just come over here and live with us. Wow, that is that is so dope. Like man. Lil Real One, Lil Real One, the, Lil Real One's mom was on drugs and my brother found him in the street and he was a good rapper. And he told my mama, I think he could be somebody. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you look at your brother, just bringing him up for a second, uh, Gip, uh, when I had him on the show. Big Gip, yeah. Gip was, he, it was a picture of him and him yeah. in New York. And they had played one of Juvie's songs. And he, and, and he said, your brother was trying to get his song played. And that was so funny the way he said your brother reacted to the fact of how they was trying not to play his music in New York. Juvenile Blue, that back... That back that ass. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That record blew in New York faster than anything back then. That shit did. Pow. Win. And I remember mm-hmm. Slim sitting there like, yo, like mm-hmm. he playing the people. He can play me too. <laughs> 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 Let's go to the moon, baby. We go to the movie. You know they hit us with the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Slim turned around like. Yeah, was like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's why he looked like that yeah, in the picture. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he in the picture like this, like, like, like he was looking straight at phone player. Are y'all on that? Oh, okay. But that night, it opened his mind because that was the first night I feel like he was like, oh shit, it's possible for somebody from New Orleans to get played in New in New York when they was up there together, which is crazy, you know? Like he was so, he, his spirit was so outgoing to where he wasn't trying to hear it no matter what. Well, yeah, my brother was really, 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 like this is his dream, his, like I said, ever since I've known, I, I, I'm four years old, my brother been like, I believe he was 13 years old, and my brother was rapping and getting picked up, like I said, in limousines, like his first concert, like I'm a little bitty girl, knee high, like my daughter age, and um, my brother's, being picked up to go to concerts. So like my whole life for us, it's just always been normal. Like this is the most I've, especially this year and like the years recent that I know that he's really on the mainstream. Like I've never, like my whole life, we just always just thought, you know, that's Daryl. <laughs> Cause yeah. that's what we call him, yeah. that's Daryl. Like, yeah, he got the music, we know the music, but it's like, it really connects with the people. And that's why, like, people like, oh, you don't want your, you don't want nobody to say nothing negative about, I don't care if you say nothing negative about my brother, but at the same time, like, people like, oh, he was a cocaine, he was a this. Whatever my brother was, he gonna tell you about it in the music, he don't hide none of his life. Like, the Bible, he is an open book. He gonna tell you about him before anybody else could tell you about him. He not, nothing he did, he was ashamed of. Nothing he did, I'm ashamed of. We that's love it. it here. That's it. <laughs> we I, love it here. I, you. I really think that, like I said, I think that's dope that, that you guys, you know, that you still have so many people respecting him like that. Because you talk I, I about, the, about, about a little bit of the hate or the negative naysayers, but it's a lot of people that have been on this show in that seat that talk so highly of Soldier Slim. And it just, it's funny to me how people really, really, a lot of people knew him in different ways. But how much is that cap? How much is that you feel is people just... You know what I'm saying? Riding away. Now, like, if yeah. it, you can tell the genuine people. A lot of it is a lot of fluff, a lot of internet fluff. Most of it is internet fluff. <laughs> a lot of it, if it's coming from, uh, look, Terrence Gangster Williams, internet oh, fluff. God. Um, if it's like a lot of it is internet fluff. So if you're from New Orleans, you're trying to capitalize, you're trying to get your name out there, use a Soldier Slim story. Like, I've never in my life heard no story about my brother going to nobody house saving somebody from a burning house. Bitch, that's a fireman job. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> wow. Somebody said that. Yeah, like, what it are you that, talking about? Like, I was that? like, did you hear, did you hear Gates to say oh, no. I was like, wait, he went in the house and saved some people. Internet fluff. A lot of it is internet fluff. Um, like I said, I try not to, like, it all 
publicity is I, good publicity. I love but the it's fact just crazy. that you you address that because some people feel like because I'm saying something good, although it's not true, that you let it you know slide because it makes him look even you know better. I I mean. Let's be realistic. <laughs> I, I think it's good that you speak out, period, because of who you are. You're, I think, like I just told Pimp C, son, Corey, uh, young pimp here, like, there are so many different programs out there. I see your brother as well. They use AI technology. Right. And they create documentaries. They create all this stuff. Mm -hmm. We need realistic views from realistic people who are connected to these to people. To these people. And that's these the legends. scary so part I about the God internet. I thank God for you and I thank God for Young Pimp for coming on here and really just setting the record straight so people can see in history this is what we stood for. Right. Without us doing that, I know a lot of times people get sick of hearing his name or sick of hearing their their family member's name but if we don't speak up who gonna speak we, up you know that, and that's what a lot of people are like I, if her brother was here he would be embarrassed of her never this has been me forever like this has been me like when my brother was alive they didn't want to let us in a teen summit one time I said if you don't let me in I'm about to call my brother and when my brother get here he gonna let you know this been me <laughs> <laughs> this ain't nothing new you can't tell me nothing about my brother this been when my brother was alive you can't tell me nothing about my brother that's my brother you but some people would say like you, you've not been with him 24 7 when he was alive right so you don't know everything that he did correct so you know how can you refute and be like well Nah, he didn't do that, or he did that, or, you know, you really don't know. I don't ever try to refute it, because I don't know what people be doing in the street. I know in a 24-hour day, I do all type of stuff. So I can't say what somebody else ain't doing in the street. That's the that's the misconceptionalized ideology beh behind it, right. that they feel like I want to correct his errors. I don't want to correct anybody's errors. We know who my brother is. It's cutthroat committee. It's, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't be wholesome, but you cutthroat. I'm just being real. <laughs> so we, you know, we know what he's done, but I also feel like he's also done great things mm -hmm. that you know all the time they capitalize, try to capitalize off the negative thug. You know what I'm saying? Lifestyle, and I feel like a lot of time with black people, if it's on the opposite dark side, people like to capitalize off that. But what about the good sides? You know what I'm saying? What about the things that people did, like Kitty Black, her house burned down, and he let her live with him. Till she got a new house and all the time she talked about that because she was like I didn't have nowhere to go I didn't know where I was gonna go I had my child I didn't know what to do and he was like just come over here and live with us wow that's that is so dope like man. little real one little real one the little real one's mom was on drugs and my brother found him in the street and he was a good rapper and he told my mama I think he could be somebody and he moved him in with him and put clothes on his back took care of him like my brother took care of a lot of young, young cats dude. because they didn't have nobody to look up to in the street because yeah. people be on like they want, like I said, it's popular to glorize, to glorize all these things right. over here mm -hmm. about negative gun toting this, that, and the other. But what about these people, these children that are in the street that don't have anybody? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.